All right, well, good afternoon, students. Are we excited? Yeah! Good. That is what we like to hear. Now, before we get started, I am going to go over a couple rules with you really quickly. All right, rule number one. There are times during the show that it's appropriate to laugh and be loud. We love when you guys are loud. But if you ever see my hand or a special guest hand raised in the air like this, that means you need to be listening and not talking during that time. Perfect. All right, rule number two. We are gonna need some volunteers during the show, but when the time comes that we call for volunteers, we ask that you just stay seated in your seat with your hand raised in the air and then Blue is gonna come around and pick our volunteers. All right, well, it is about time to get started with our show, but we can't get started without the star. And speaking of the star, where is Blue? Is Blue at home? Did you see him out there? Blue? Oh, this is Blue's cell phone. Maybe this is Blue calling, if I can figure out how to answer it. How are you today? I'm good, Beth. How are you? Fantastic. Are we ready to start? Um, I guess. Hi, students. My name is Beth Foland, and I'm the Team Nutrition Specialist for the Indiana Department of Education. Team Nutrition is a national program from USDA's Food and Nutrition Service and involves learning to eat right and be healthy. Every team needs a mascot, and that's why Power Panther from USDA's Food and Nutrition Service is joining me today. Our mission is to teach students in Indiana about healthy food options in my plate. So we've teamed up with Blue from the Indianapolis Colts for an exciting new show. Um, yeah, speaking of Blue, have you seen him? Yeah, he's right here. What? Oh, Blue, what are you doing? You're supposed to be here at the school. That's right, Blue, you better hurry. Um. Good luck at the show. Sorry he was late, Julia. That's okay. Have fun, students. Bye. Bye, Bob. Oh, Blue, you cut it so close. Wait, Blue, didn't you grab carrots from the complex before you came here? You ate them all, Blue. I, I know, I know how much you love carrots. Hey, Blue, can you remind me why we're here to talk to the students today? That's right, we're here with the Find Your Favorite program brought to you by the Produce Mom and the Department of Education. So big shout out to them for making it possible for us to be here. That's right, now for a chance to win an Indianapolis Colts t-shirt, do you know the answer to this question? Raise your hand, Blue's gonna come around and pick somebody to answer it. So our question is, what two things make up produce? And we are talking produce, the noun, not the verb. Yeah. What two things make up produce? celebrities and his favorite is mango that's right so mango is blue's favorite produce so we're going to be calling some of those other local celebrities to talk to you guys about the find your favorite program so yeah blue you want to make a you want to call an indie car driver that's pretty sweet all right blue let's do it
Hey, Blue, what's up, big guy? Thanks for the call. Are you ready to start the show? Great. Hey, kids, my name is Graham Rahal, and I'm an IndyCar Series driver. Like most athletes, I have to be in top physical condition to do my job. And in order to stay healthy, I have to eat healthy. That's why I'm excited to team up with a produce mom as a find your favorite hero. In 2012, the produce mom started this cool campaign to educate students like you about the importance of fruits and vegetables. We want you to find your favorite fruit and vegetable. In order to do that, you have to try them all. I did, and my favorite is kiwi. But I'm not the only hero you'll meet today. There are a lot of surprises in this show. Just wait until you meet. I thought you wanted me to tell the kids about the surprises. You called me to talk to these students, and I can't even tell them about the surprises. I'm just going to tell them. What is that? Blue, don't unplug me. Seriously, don't unplug me. Blue, what hit back in? Oh, thanks, Blue. I thought you were going to cut me off in the middle of a... Blue! talk to the students about my plate. Don't you think so? <laughs> my plate? You want to call a professional diver? Really? All right. Let's do it. up? Hey, thanks for the call. Are you ready for me to talk to these kids? Great. Hey kids, my name is David Wadai and I am a diver for Purdue University in the United States Olympic team. Before we chat, check out a video of me at work. It has always been a dream of mine to win an Olympic medal. In 2012, I won a bronze and gold medal at the Summer Olympic Games. That dream would not have been possible without a lot of hard work plus a healthy and balanced diet. To make sure I'm eating right, I use a really cool program called My Plate. Blue, a little help? Thanks, big guy. As you can see, the My Plate message is pretty simple. Every meal should be made up of fruits, grains, proteins, vegetables, and dairy. And remember this easy tip, make half your plate fruits and vegetables. That reminds me, my favorite fruit is blueberries. Blueberries are great with anything and you can even make a game out of this. One, one shot. So I encourage you to find your favorite, but don't forget, make half your plate fruits and vegetables. If you remember that tip, you could grow big and strong like me and maybe even win an Olympic medal one day. Hey Blue, have you ever won anything like this? Whoa, is that the 2006 Super Bowl trophy? Well, that's almost as cool as a gold medal, I guess. Thanks for inviting me to your school today, guys. Remember, I'll talk and good luck finding your favorite. I'll talk to you guys soon. Later. Bye, David. Students, that's right, just like David was talking about, this is the MyPlate map. And the MyPlate map illustrates the five basic food groups that are the building blocks to a healthy and balanced diet. And it's on a very familiar image, which is the place setting for a meal. So really think about what you're putting on your plate before you sit down to eat. Yeah, Blue? That's right. And be sure to fill half your plate with fruits and vegetables and plenty of them. <laughs> yeah. Yep, we've called an IndyCar driver, a professional diver, and now you want to call a professional basketball player. Hey, Blue. 
thank you for inviting me to take part in your school show today. Are you ready to do this? Great. Hey kids, my name is Tamika Ketchings and I play basketball for your Indiana Fever. Before I talk to you about my favorite food, check out this video of my team at work. Pretty sweet, huh? I've had a lot of success in my career as a basketball player. I've won a national championship at the University of Tennessee, a WNBA championship with the Indiana Fever, and three gold medals with the USA Olympic basketball team. Oh yeah, I was also the 2011 WNBA Most Valuable Player. But none of that would have been possible without the proper nutrition. When I was your age, my mom made sure we had plenty of fruits and vegetables with every meal. There are some pretty delicious choices, but my favorite is pineapple. I eat it at least once a week, and it's always easy to find. You can get fresh pineapple, frozen pineapple, dried pineapple, canned pineapple, or you can get 100% pineapple juice. But my favorite way to have pineapple is in a smoothie. I wouldn't have known how much I love pineapple if I wasn't brave enough to try it in the first place. So today, Blue and I have a huge surprise for you. We've teamed up with the Produce Mom to bring you this amazing selection of fruits and vegetables. Wow, that looks great. Wait a minute, Blue. I don't see any pineapple. Good thing I packed some pineapple today. Here you go, Blue. Whoa. Hey, Blue, you should pick some brave students to try this produce. Let me know what they think. I bet somebody out there will find their favorite today. Thanks for allowing me to talk to you today. Good luck finding your favorite produce. And remember, more matters. The more food you can eat, the bigger and stronger you'll grow. Bye, kids. Bye, Bye Blue. Bye, Tamika. <laughs> oh, I love Tamika. Yeah? Oh, that's right. OK, we are going to be having up four contestants to come try some of this amazing produce that we have on the table. Yeah? OK, we have two names right here, actually. Thank you, Blue. We are going to ask Trevor McMullen and Margaret Manning to please come down to the front. But wait, Blue, that's only two. Didn't you want four? Yeah? Excuse me. Ah, oh, great idea. We're also going to be having our principal and assistant principal coming down to try some of this program. Wow. Come on. Have a seat right here. Sure. All right. So Blue is going to be handing one team at a time this cup of produce. You guys are going to pour it directly into your mouth. We just ask that you don't pick it up with your fingers and put it in your mouth. We want you to guess based purely off of taste. They're going to have to guess what kind of produce they just had. And then first team to get five correct is going to be our winner. So we're going to do a coin toss, see which team goes first. You can go ahead and call in the Air Force heads or tails. She called heads. And it's heads, so the girls team gets to go first. All right, contestants, go ahead and put on your blindfold. All right, Blue is getting produce for our first contestant. We're going to have our student go first on the girls team. All right, go ahead and try your produce. Okay. 
Can you name that produce? Strawberries. She guessed strawberries. And the answer is strawberries! One point! All right, boys team, up next, we're gonna have our student go first. I have the answer here. All right, go ahead and try your produce. Can you name that produce? <laughs> what, what, what was that? Apple. He guessed apple. The answer is kiwi. That's incorrect. You do not get a point. Girl team has one. Boys. No points. All right, who's winning our next produce? Thank you, Blue. Our teacher's up on the girls' team. Go ahead and try your produce. Can you name that produce? She guessed radish. The answer is onion! Go boys, go boys. Can you name that produce? Tomato. He guessed, he guessed tomato. And the answer is, he guessed tomato. And the answer is, tomato! All right, this time, one to one. Our student is up on the girls' team. <laughs> All right, go ahead and try your produce. <laughs> there we go. All right, can you name that produce? Did 
did you get a taste? If you need to use your fingers, you can. That's fine. We'll break the rules. Awesome. Okay, can you name that produce? It's very good. He likes it. Hey, easy. It <laughs> <laughs> um, is sweet. It is sweet. It's a little softer than a pepper. So I'm guessing it's more fruity. Oh, it it's a so Yes, mango. The answer is mango! Do you have a guess for us? What do you guess? Cranberry. Cranberry? You guessed cranberry. Cranberries aren't green. <laughs> the answer is cauliflower! All right. Our principal that. Yes, radish. The answer is radish! Yeah. Yeah. Our assistant principal is up, has the opportunity to tie. If he gets this correct. All right, go ahead and try your produce.
teammates at work.
also requires a lot of hard work. And that hard work starts with the right diet. That's why my favorite food is spinach. Spinach is rich with vitamins and helps me digest my food. I encourage you to find your favorite and eat healthy. If you do, you can grow up to be strong like me and play in the NFL. Good luck this year, and remember, find your favorite. I'll talk to you later. See you, kids. Bye, Kobe. Ah! Oh, I love Kobe. He's awesome. Yeah. That's right, students. We're not done just yet with our surprises. So I'm going to ask our principal to come back up to the front. Our principal. Come on up. <laughs> all right, so students, if you all take the pledge today, stating that you're going to get out there, try all those different kinds of fruits and vegetables, and find your favorite, you'll be entered for a chance to win an end of the year school party. That's right, so all we need is your principal to sign this piece of paper stating that you all are gonna take the pledge. So do you all wanna take the pledge? Sometime again soon.